Then sang Moses and the children of Israel the song unto the Lord and spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed graciously. The horse and his rider has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and song, is become my salvation. He is my God, and I will prepare him an habitation, my Father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his host as he cast into the sea. His chosen captain also had drawn in the Red Sea. The depths have covered them. The sank at the bottom as a stone. Thy right hand, O Lord, has become gracious in power. Thy right hand, O Lord, has dashed in pieces the enemy. And the greatness of thy excellency, thou art overthrown them that rose up against thee. Thou setteth forth thy wrath, which consumed them as stable. And in the greatness of thy excellency, thou overthrown them that rose up against thee, thou set forth thy wrath, which consumed them as stable. And with the blast of thy nursery, the waters were gathered together, the floor stood upright as a heap, and the depths were congelated in the heart of the sea. The enemy said, The enemy said, I will pursue. I will overtake, I will divide the spoil. My loss shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw my sword, my hand shall destroy them. Thou didst blow with thy wind, the sea covered them, the sank as a lead in the mighty waters. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee, gracious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders? Thou stretchest out the right hand, the earth swallowed them. Thou in thy mercy had led for the people which thou had redeemed, thou had guided them in thy strength upon the holy habitation. The people shall hear and be afraid. Sorrow shall take hold on the habitants of the Philistines. The dukes of Adam shall be amazed. The mighty men of Moab trembling shall take hold upon them. All the habitants of Canaan shall melt away. Fear and dread shall fall upon them. By the greatness of thy arm, they shall be as still as a stone. Till the people pass over. Oh Lord, till the people pass over. They shall be as still as a stone which thou hath purchased. Fear and dread shall fall upon them by the greatness of thy arm. They shall be as still as a stone till thy people pass over. O oh Lord, till thy people pass over which thou hath purchased. Thou shalt bring them in and plant them in the mountain of thy inheritance. In the place, O oh Lord, which thou hath made for them to dwell in. In the sanctuary, O oh Lord, which thy hands have established. The Lord shall reign forever. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. For the horse of Pharaoh went in with his chariots and with the horsemen into the sea. And the Lord brought again the waters of the sea upon them. But the children of Israel went on dry land in the midst of the sea. And Miriam the prophetess, the sister of Aaron, took a timbre in her hand and all the women went out after her with timbre and with dances and Miriam answered them sing ye to the Lord for he had triumphed graciously the horse and his rider had he thrown into the sea so Moses brought the children from the Red Sea and they went out in the, to the wilderness of Shah and they went there three days in the wilderness and found no water And when they came to Marah, they could not drink of the waters of Marah, for they were bitter. Therefore, the name of it was called Marah. And the people murmured against Moses, saying, 
what shall we drink and the people murmured against Moses saying what shall we drink and he cried unto the Lord and the Lord showed him a tree which when he had cast into the waters the waters were made sweet there he made for them a statue and an ordinance and there he proved them and said if thou would diligently cling unto the voice of the Lord thy God and we do that which is right in his sight and we give ear to his commandments and keep all his status and I will put none of the diseases upon thee which thou have brought upon the Egyptians I will put none of these diseases upon thee which I have brought upon the Egyptians and said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and wilt do that which is right in his sight, and we give ear to his commandments, and keep all his status. I will put none of these diseases upon thee which I have brought upon the Egyptians. For I am the Lord that healed thee. 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 I am the Lord that